I think my Travis Scott needs a soul. Whoa. Uh -oh. What's up there? Thanks for checking out this video. If you're new, uh, make sure to subscribe and like, and let's get right into the video. This is what a Jordan looks like without a sole. You can see it's all weird and all crinkly on the bottom. And what's that, what that's from is all the material. It hangs off, you know, about an inch or two. And what I gotta do is I gotta pull it on there until it's right here. And the problem now is that it's not flat. And when you're walking on the sole, you don't want just this, like a indention on each side, if that makes sense. So, I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna be using this sole. I have another sole coming in soon, but I'm gonna use it just to make sure that it fits properly. So what I'll be doing first, as I said, getting a box cutter, and I'm gonna cut the toe. So, cause that's the, that's the worst of it right now, as you can see all that crap is just overlapping each other and you don't really you don't want that so what I'm gonna do is about what I'm gonna do is cut along that line right there and then from there just ride that line out until it's all out so let's get right into it I got some pliers right here for the last thing when I pull the leather over and I just got a box cutter so that's all I'm gonna need right now When you could only find pliers, you use them to crack open your glue. There we go. Do the other side, I guess. And that's what that looks like. Whoops. So I have to wait for that to dry for like 30 minutes until I could go back and cut it without all the material falling off. So I'm gonna answer some questions, some other questions that I've been uh, getting asked. You know, I want customs, where, where can I get them? Just DM me on Instagram or email me. That's uh, the easiest way. Like if you message me on a TikTok, it's really, hard to, it's really hard to catch up on all that just because I get so many each day. But if you want a, like a custom that's not on my website, just uh, DM me or email me and that'll be the easiest way to get to it. What's your favorite material that you use? Um, I'll make another video about this, but probably my favorite material is Python. I, uh, it's not my favorite to sew or anything, but it's my favorite as in it's textured, it's real, and I think it just looks the most unique. It's super cool. It's very soft. It's not as soft, you know, as like lambskin, but it's still pretty soft. But I think it just, it gives it that wow factor in like shoes, which I think is just super cool, especially if you got, you know, a well-known shoe, but you remake it with uh, with Python skin. I think it just gives it a even different look. Do you resell shoes? I, um, I don't resell like normal shoes. What I do is I go to uh, Marshalls and Ross and I buy shoes, you know, for 20 to 50 bucks, and then I resell them on eBay for, um, you know, two times the value, three times the value, just depends on what I, uh, what shoes I find, but I mean, 
that's my version of reselling. I'm not. I don't really want to go spend you know two to five hundred bucks on a pair of Jordans and then wait on them and flip on them. And not only that, it's easier for me just to go downtown to Ross and you know buy some shoes there and sell them on eBay. Also, in the future, I'll do a full-on tutorial on how you could do that, and it's it's super easy. You just got to go through the steps, and once you know, once you get a hang of it, you can make easy money. What got you into customizing shoes? What got me into customizing shoes was what I said earlier, the football cleats. I just wanted to stand out and I wanted to have something cool and different. And before you know it, I uh, actually started looking more into shoes rather than football cleats. And I thought they were super cool. And you know, then I just kind of got that itch to want to get more shoes and more shoes or at least customize them. So then I started customizing them and I just kind of I just kind of fell in love with it. It was super fun and it's something that you could, you know, make that no one else has done. It's you know, you can make them you can make them look like uh factory shoes, but they're different colors and different designs where like no one would even think of it. Your shoes are fake. That's a very popular one in which like I I I, I could see where they're coming from. Obviously, they're just, I guess they're just haters, but I mean, they aren't really fake when you're making them from scratch and, you know, you're you're using all, as I said, you know, you're using the old soles. Everything is, you know, handmade. I, I guess you could, I guess you could say that they're fake just because, you know, the fake shoes, that's what they're doing also. They're just, you know, using a sole and sewing all the other stuff together but I don't really consider them fake just cuz I'm not making like a reper uh how do I say this I'm not like reproducing the shoe to like the original look for example I'm using different materials I'm doing like different designs instead of just using you know normal normal like colored leather I put them all together and it looks like the original shoe that's my take on it you know if they're if you think that they're fake, I mean, oh, hey, power to you. you. They're fake shoes, but I mean, it doesn't it doesn't bother me. I just I I see where they're coming from, but also I feel like most of the time it's just, you know, haters just being mad cuz they don't got cool shoes. What type of paints do you use? Um I use Angelus paint. I'm sure most customizers, you know, know about this. I'm sure a lot of people that have already looked this up you know know about this paint but I mean this is what I use it's a uh, I haven't used any other paints I should you know branch out and use other paints but the local shop that I go to they just have that and it's easiest for me to get I like it you know some there's some types or like some times where I don't like it how it how it works and I guess like all the other stuff but for the most part I like it it's not you know it's not too bad as I've been talking about lately though I really like these I'm just waiting for the different colors to come in I I think it's I think I'm really gonna like it in the future I don't know how it's gonna I think it'll work on like leather but I'm not sure how it's gonna work for example on um, uh, not not canvas but like I guess like flexible materials where you know you don't want the the paint to crack I'm guessing maybe maybe it'll like be fine but i just don't want it to crack for example the angelus paint you add like too soft or um or too thin stuff like that and then it could bend with it so that's something i'm going to see in the future but i really i really like these as well what's the weirdest pair of shoes you've made i don't think i have a weirdest pair of shoes i think these are probably the most like unordinary shoes I really like them though, but I feel like these would probably be the most unordinary shoes using <laughs> using plastic dip to just throw it on and have them melt off the bottom. But I mean, I feel like I, at least so far, I haven't had any crazy requests like, hey, do this something, you know, do this weird thing, do this weird thing. But I mean, ugh. maybe, uh, no, I mean, I don't, haven't had any crazy ones yet. So it's been about 30 minutes. So I'm going to go check on the shoe, bring it back here, then we'll finish up cutting, and then from there I'll show you how to use the sole. So that's that. And as you can see, it's starting to get 
more flat, more smooth on the sides. So we're getting where we're wanting to go. And as you can see, you press down, it's not it's not popping back up. So the glue worked. So like that, I'll have to glue that down. But what I'm gonna do is smooth all this down again. And um, if I like it, then um, I'll come back with uh, one more layer of glue and I'll get underneath all the layer of glue as well on top of it. And from there you put it, pretty much put on the sole and it's good. But I still gotta flatten all this out. And then I gotta glue back over it. And then from there the sole's ready. So if you could see, now that it's smooth, I'm going to go glue down the bottom and we will go from there. Let's focus. As you can see, it's now all smooth. Some of it you still got to press down as you can see there. And all you got to, because it's a uh, contact glue, so you just keep pressing it down to get all the places that you missed. But you know, for the most part, that's it. So, once you are done with that, what you want to do, put it in the sole. And you will mark this line, glue the bottom, and go from the, to the next process. But for right now, I just wanted to show this part on... Uh, you know, getting it smooth and getting all the um, getting the bottom ready for the next the next step, I guess. But this is what a Jordan looks like right before the sole. Let me know if you want to see how I put the sole on. If you guys want to see that, I'll make a video on it. But other than that, you know, this is pretty much a, the process. Not not too bad. Just super time consuming. Um. The other sole is going to be coming in soon. Whoops. The other sole is going to be coming in soon. So it's going to have a nice new look. But I mean, that's it. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you uh, enjoyed it and maybe learned something from making shoes. Uh, I'll be posting more videos like this soon. So make sure to like, subscribe, and comment what you would want to see next. Thank you.